Today's verse is Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7, where it reads, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. You know, there are some people who believe if you just give enough money to God, if you're just good enough, if you just become who God wants you to be, and you pray enough, and you pray correctly, God will give you everything you want and you need, how you want it, and when you want it. Well, first of all, that sounds more like a genie to me. And we know that God does have a plan for us. We know that God knows the desires of our heart and even our prayers before we pray it. I want to encourage you today to know that God is a good God. He is on your side. He doesn't like playing hide and seek, nor seeing to see if you are a better person before He loves you more. He loves you just the way that you are. He also hears your prayers just the way you pray it. He's God. And we don't need a formula for prayer. So I want you to discover the peace in your heart and mind through Christ Jesus in regards to the requests that you may ask God for, but he hasn't said yes yet. For instance, I pray for arms and legs. It's a request. But I also thank God for the things that he's given me. I thank God that he can give me arms and legs. I thank God that I have a faith to actually have a pair of shoes in my closet just in case he says yes. But I also have peace in my heart and my mind to know that more than a physical thing that I think I need, my soul is restored, my mind is renewed, and he fills me with his Holy Spirit. I'm living forever and heaven's waiting for me. What more could I want than the cure of death? resurrection, and a new life of love, joy, peace, and purpose. To the point where daily, as my heart is feeling, God, please give me arms and legs. But I also know that as I say in Jesus' name, Amen, if God doesn't give me arms and legs, that doesn't mean that I don't have peace and love and joy in my heart. I'm not waiting for arms and legs because I'm already free. I'm already complete and I already know that everything I need, he will always give me. So remember this, Philippians 4, verse 6 and 7, and maybe start memorizing that, because when God doesn't always make sense, you can always come back to the promises of God, to know that he loves you, he cares for you, and even when he doesn't make sense, you can still experience his peace and love in your heart and mind through Christ Jesus.